Hi guys, this is Drew Brashler. I wanted to show you guys how to install an Ethercon connector on a normal Cat5 cable like this, or a Cat6 cable. Uh, Ethercon is uh, a connector made by Nutrix. Um, it's uh, basically a casing that goes around a Cat5 uh, cable, and you can use this for the uh, Digital Snake um, for your Behringer X32. Um, the connector uh, is pretty much the same size as a uh, Nutrix XLR connector, uh, except it uh, can connect into um, uh, into this, and basically it makes the, the network connection a lot more robust. Uh, so this is an extender um, to connect two lines together, uh, but just kind of wanted to show you guys how kind of robust this is. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you how to install this. So we first have our, uh, this is a 100 foot piece of uh, Cat6 cable, um, and then we have our, uh, our Nutric connector, so this is the NE8MC-B. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up here. So in here there's a lot of parts, um, and some of them um, will be useful for different network cables. Uh, this network cable um, specifically uh, I don't need this part, which is just a nut that goes on um, to help for strain relief. I don't need this part, another strain relief thing. And then this one, uh, this is a strain relief uh, as well. Uh, this is too small to fit over the um, diameter of my cable. So basically we have the casing, we have a strain relief, the nut that screws on to tighten it, and then another uh, part of the of the nut for the strain relief. Okay, so those are the parts we're going to install. So we're going to start with our uh, Cat5 cable, or Cat6, sorry, I'm just used to calling it Cat5. Uh, we need to cut this uh, little non-snag uh, part off, I guess it's called. So I'm going to go ahead and take an X-Acto knife and cut along, um, along basically the barrel of this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and finish this. Okay, so now this is smooth as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and take the um, tightening part, put that on like so, and then we have our strain relief. We're going to go ahead and slip this over. And basically this little notch uh, right here lines up with this tab right here. So basically we're just going to do that. Okay, so you can see that. There's the little notch right there. It's kind of hard to see. And then we're going to take our, uh, our Nutrix connector. Um, and in here you can see um, basically there is an orientation that it goes. Uh, the top is here, okay, and that's where the little tab that you would press to pull the network cable out of a computer or something, uh, that tab goes up top up here. So we're going to just go ahead and insert this like so, okay, and so you'll see this start coming through there. Okay, so there we go, that's in there, and then we're going to push this forward. Okay, so now we have this. This part of the strain relief, uh, these two sections come together. Um, one goes on one side of the cable, the other comes on the other, and then they just slide uh, together like that. So you can see that there's a hole in there that's for the cable. Uh, and then the nut uh, goes on this side and actually tightens down. So basically to get this on, we uh, take one, put it here, take the other, and put it here. We just slide these two things together, just like that, okay? And then we have, uh, so this is way, the way that it looks. It goes barrel, strain relief, this little strain relief thing, and then our tightening nut. And so now we go ahead and get this starting to go, to tighten. Sorry for that, somebody just called me. Um, so basically, now we just tighten this nut down. One thing I like to do is uh, I like to grab 
um, one of the uh, female to female uh, ethercon connectors it's called the ne 8 ff uh, plug the uh, plug the cable into this and then you have a little bit more um, to hold on to while tightening this down now the reason that this one's getting is pretty hard to tighten down is because of this on this cable right here now this cable is made by um, well, I don't even have it on here it's by uh, by E something. I'll, I'll go ahead and put the uh, put it in the explanation on the video down below. Um, so anyway, there we go. So now we have uh, that Ethercon connector is connected there, and so there we go. Just make sure you recoil it because these are fun to uncoil. And that's it. Enjoy.